What's up, PHW gang? Sergio Bucciarelli here. Hope you're all getting ready for a fit, healthy, and uh, active summer. I know I am trying to stay out of the heat a little bit, but just increase the water intake and you'll have a great time. As you all know, every month we showcase someone new that is making an impact on the health, fitness, and wellness community. And I'm totally stoked about this month's person of interest, which is, um, whether he knows it or not, we spent a lot of Sundays together, some good, some bad, but uh, none other than three-time Pro Bowler, Philadelphia Eagle, Trey Thomas. Trey, right. thank you so much for doing this, man. Right, thank no you problem. so much. Thanks for having me. Um, by the way, you have a fantastic place in Seven Deuce Sports. It's, this looks like the fitness mecca, as far as I'm concerned. I, I, I wish I could work out here every single day. But um, Trey, tell us a little bit about why you chose to get into fitness uh, as your post-professional career, if you can. It, it wasn't really my first choice. My first choice um, after I retired was going to be um, getting into teaching technique. Um, after playing under Juan Castillo for 11 years, I felt like Juan Castillo was the, the best offensive line um, technique training coach that I've ever been around, one of the best in the NFL. That was my original plan when I first started out. I wanted to open a um, just rent some space and go in and try to teach technique to offensive linemen, to high school guys, to college kids, even guys that's getting ready to go into the draft to kind of help out with that learning curve. Um, so that was my original plan, but um, I went to a couple places, everybody turned me down, right. or they wanted me to jump to, through too many hoops to um, open up at their space. So, you know, my wife pushed me, uh, my kids go to karate right, right next door. Nice. So this was an old blockbuster, the space was available. So I came in and just uh, walked in, did a little layout right after I walked in. I drew my little how I wanted it, how I wanted it to look, and started in January. Started ordering stuff, and we were open by April. What are some of the things that you do here? I mean, I know a lot of the things you do are extreme, but I see that there's you know regular people that come in and they partake in all this stuff, yes. and they're getting in the best shape of their life. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, one of the things that my trainers do, and one of the things I've always try to you know just try to let them do, is to be creative and not always get stuck in doing the same thing over and over again. That's why I really depend on the staff that I have. I have such a great staff where they come in and they keep it different, they keep it energized, they keep the energy up. Where people come in and their hour, when they're done with an hour, they feel like it was only 20 minutes because it's a fast-paced, high energy and the guy is extremely motivating. But can you talk to us a little bit about some of the things that you do or some of the things that you teach here as far as nutrition is concerned? Well, what we teach pretty much is that you know what you're not supposed to eat. So don't eat it, you know, and just try to be Simple. disciplined and just come in and just just start at something. You know, um, a lot of people feel like they just can't come in straight off the streets and start working out here. But you can, you know, you could come in, you could, we, our trainers are, are skilled enough to realize when we have new people in and guys, people that we need to give a little extra break to or someone where we kind of have to ease them through. And we can do that, you know, and it's just getting started and, um, and sticking to a regimen. Now. I have to be honest with you, I'm going to be taking a class and you know, we're going to take the viewers through one of these classes, but um, I'm, I'm actually sweating it a little bit. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little scared to do this, but uh, you guys got so many great tools and classes here, um, GFX and Kinesis. Can you talk a little bit about these uh, very unique uh, types of things that you do here, like GFX. What is, what is that? GFX is everything that's going to go on in the turf and in the sand pit where we're going to be doing um you're going to be doing several different drills. Um, it, usually we have it set up for at least 12 to 15 people to come in and it's kind of like a stations. Um, if you had to have a point of reference, you would say like kind of a boot camp type thing okay. where you may be running with sleds, you may be doing sandbags, you may be doing some plyometric stuff, you're going to be using the med balls. So it's just all about how the trainer wants to set it up and, um, and everything is usually time where we're going to come in, you, you know, we don't just come in and just do a certain number of reps, everything is time. So you just come in, you might have a two minute rotation, switch to onto the next exercise and you just keep it moving and keep it rolling. And that's a great point that you said about time, that um, you know, HIT type of training where it's heart rate up, dropping mm -hmm. back, heart rate mm -hmm. back down. Um, and we're seeing that there's so much success to be had from that style of training. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of people now that kind of are uh, walking away from the 30 or 40 minutes on the treadmill yeah. and taking the 20 minutes to ramp up their heart rate exactly. up and down. Exactly. Being the professional now in the fitness, uh, in the fitness world, why is that so? Why are, why are so many people getting into that and, and why does it work? Because it's such a change up. I think when you get on a treadmill or whatever, you're just sitting up for 45 minutes, it gets boring. Mm -hmm. When you come in and you're doing something and it's constantly changing and, and, it, and you, you, you're exploding your heart rate up and then calming back down and getting it back up, you can find that you'll burn more calories in 20 minutes of doing this type of stuff than an hour on the treadmill. Right. So, you know, it, it, it works and, it, and it's proven. So, you know, I think people are just finding that and then it's different and it keeps them energized and, it, and it's fun. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, 
I'm sweating it, so let's go take one of these classes. I'm gonna take it with the professional here, so uh, hopefully I don't cry and sweat or puke. So, you know, check it out. Go. Come on. Slow it out. Slow it out. Come on. Go. Hop, 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 hop. Keep it going. Come on. Get all the way out there. Get all the way out there. Get all the way out there. Hop it back. Kick it up. 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 Come on. Pump your knees. Pump your knees. Come on, man. Come on, Drew. Pump your knees. Pump your knees. Pump your knees. Ready. Go. Walk it out. Walk it out right there. Five push ups. Come on. Keep moving. Keep moving. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Time. Back on the ball. All the way up. All the way up. All the way up. Here we go. Almost there. Come on. Come on. Keep moving. Keep moving. And time. Here we go. Back in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go. Come on. Pick it up. Come on. Go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Keep moving. Keep moving. Go. Come on. Come on. Keep a base. Bend your knees, Drew. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Go. Ready. Go. Back. 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 Shuffle right. Shuffle. 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 Five squats. Come on. Two. Trey lost his mind. Bear crawl position, here we go. Bear crawling out, five push-ups, ready, go. Come on, come on, five push-ups. Little break, little break, little break, little break, little break. Little break, that was officially the warm up, real warm, nice and warm. What? Yeah. That was a warm up? Yeah, that's a warm up. Yeah, here we go, now we're gonna get into it. Doing good, keep it going, keep it going, doing good. Here Why are we, we come here again? There we go. Squeeze that back. Come on, stay, stay a little bit more vertical. There you go, bring it in. Doing good, doing good. Come on, come on, come on. And time. Yeah. Lord Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, pick them up, pick them up, pick them up, pick them up, pick them up. Let's go, let's go, pick those knees up. Pick those knees up. Keep moving, 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 keep moving. All right, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. We go through twice. That was just one. <laughs> Tiff, where are you? I need help. Keep moving, doing good. Keep moving. Yeah. That's good stuff Tiffany, right there. Tiffany, help me. That's good stuff right there. Make sure you get a good <laughs> Almost there. And time. All right. Boom! Good Please work. tell me that's time. Yeah, that's it. It's good work. Good work. Thank good you, work. sir. Good work. Thank you, All sir. Right. All right. I know, yeah. I know. Welcome back, guys. Uh, first of all, I don't even know how I just made, made it through that, Trey. Seriously. Uh, I know you guys don't get it just from watching on the video, but I'm struggling right now. Uh, that was probably... I, I've done a lot of workouts in my life, man. I, I train with some of the best guys that are out there wrestling, MMA, uh, high school, football, and whatnot, but that was one of the best workouts I think I've ever had in I'm my life. I'm glad you enjoyed life, it, man. You so did, a, did an awesome job. You guys have seven do sports and Trey Thomas. Man, not only is he the, the guy of the month as far as a, a gentleman and um, an outstanding citizen in the area who's really making a difference in health and wellness and, and fitness, but he also has one of the best training centers in the area. I haven't been around the country, but I would stack this up against anybody in the U.S. So I just wanted to say thank you, Trey, for being thank an you. awesome person and right, exposing me to your uh, to your place. Any last words that you have for our uh, our viewers at Philly Health Watch? Come get some. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> or, or don't if you got any brains. I'll see you later. Take care. All right. <laughs>